we've just put the ID tag on his collar and it, it's been really funny. He definitely knows he's put it on. Don't you look very smart? Are you a proper dog now? That was a bit rubbish, Daddy. No, he's lost in he's lost his interest now. He's chewing his ring. Well we are taking Charlie to his first vet's appointment. Um and we have his cage or his crate in the back of the car and we'll open all the windows and he's got his little bony in there you can't see it there it is look his little bone that he also has at night and he's got his teddy bear and we'll open all the windows and then we'll go and see the nice vet lady so i shall catch you later and we'll find out how much he weighs as well so we are we are here at the vets and we've got to be really quick because we're just on our appointment time but he's now got his collar on uh, he didn't have it on in the crate because that can be considered as dangerous but he's now got it on just in case we need to secure him on the vet's table but we have got to dash now and see the vet right we are back from the vets and we've had our teas um, he's currently fast asleep on the rug. Um, he did have um, a bit of zoomies when we came back, but he seems to have settled down now. Um, so firstly, the update from the vets. He is 2.7 kilograms and the vet and the nurse are not concerned about that at all. They say that's, that's normal. Uh, so 2.7 kilograms. Um, He's uh, everything's checked out fine and he's had his second injections and the vet just said leave it one to two weeks um, so I think what we'll do is after the first week we'll start walking him round here and after the second week we'll go a bit further afield possibly possibly to Bridlington or somewhere like that maybe because he still hasn't met Andrew's mum and dad um he also had his um nails clipped um i don't know if i've said on here i think i kept meaning to say um that we've taken out the health plan at the vets so 11 pound a month for his treatments and he gets his uh, puppy classes free um and things like nail clipping flea and worm treatment um, consultations with the nurses lots of things like that are in with this plan so we've had two appointments today and we've had the injections um, the clipping and the checkup and we haven't had to pay anything uh, apart from the 11 pound a month so and we have his insurance sorted out as well so we've got um, some puppy 
uh, some flea and worming treatments to give him over the next couple of days. Um, anything else they said? No, go back in the morning to have some more tr um, worming and flea treatment and it'll get weird. Yeah, so we to go back in another month. I think it's the first Thursday in August. Um, and he'll have another dose of flea and worm treatment and be weighed again and we, he start, we do start puppy classes on Thursday so we'll do three weeks of puppy classes and then we'll do the uh, we'll have the injection the the follow-up appointment the following week so I think that's about it um, as regards the weekend we had a really really good weekend um, he's starting to respond to stay um, he's getting a little bit better on the lead and he was loving all the attention that he had over the weekend with, and with visitors as well. Um, accidents, we were, we, we're, we're still down to two or three wees in the house. All poos outside, which has been brilliant. Um, and also, a lot of the wees have been either on the mat near the door or in the kitchen and definitely he's definitely indicating when he wants to go um, but I have noticed today when I've been back upstairs in the office that we sort of regress a bit um, so we've got a puppy pad and he's better at going on the puppy pad when we're upstairs now but still not perfect so I think we've had two accidents on the carpet upstairs and everything else on the puppy pad or outside so we're doing okay um but when we're downstairs he does tend to go to one of the doors to tell us he wants to go out and i have noticed today um that he was crying at the top of the stairs obviously we've got the baby gate up but he goes to the top of the stairs and cries and he did that two or three times so i got up and let him out then uh, but other times he just sort of squats and does it so but yeah uh, we're definitely seeing some improvement and we're glad that everything's okay with him at the vets his weight seems fine and um heart's okay. his heart's okay yeah his heart that was um and he didn't seem too overwhelmed at the vets he didn't seem too scared or anything uh, but we gave him plenty of treats so that it's a positive association and we gave him lots of praise every time because he was examined by the vet and then we went in with the nurse and he was examined by the nurse um, and she gave us like she was asking us questions and giving us advice and things like that and she said uh, that we'll we'll learn a puppy class about nipping and things like that so I'm looking forward to it um, not sure if I'll upload, I'll probably do a few more clips and then upload. Can you think of anything I've not said? Um, no, because they were asking all questions and we didn't really, we didn't really have anything. Yeah, they asked us if we had any concerns and I think we've, we, we've, we're doing okay at the moment and we don't have any concerns about his health or anything. Um, obviously we are a bit concerned about the nipping. Um, but it's just natural. Um, I, I've probably got a couple of things I wanted to tell you. Oh, I know one thing I wanted to show you. Just bear with me a second. There he is. Look, you get a, a look at him now. I've got a couple of clips from the weekend, actually, that I'll insert before this. Um, but, and I've probably got things that I wanted to tell you, but maybe they'll come to me another time. But this is one thing I have wanted to speak to you about for quite a while is the Simple Solution Stain and Odour Remover. You can get it in a spray bottle, which we got at first, but we've run out of that now. And Andrew looked it up on um, Amazon and found a four litre bottle. And he's we've obviously saved a spray bottle to decant it into. But this is for any place where they have accidents and it's absolutely brilliant and it removes any st if you wet the cloth with water and then spray the stain or the place where they've weed with this simple solution it's absolutely brilliant 
um, I'd recommend it a hundred percent so just spray the area and then give it a good rub and this it removes any stain and also removes any odor so yeah that's a recommendation if you have a puppy or a dog who is having accidents don't we Charlie you can see how long he is there Every time, every time we put camera on, he stops. Good, keep it on him. Hi, good evening. So it's Thursday the 5th of July and it's about 5 o'clock and tonight is puppy class. So I haven't really updated the last couple of days because we've had a couple of samey days um, but I'm going to try and get a little bit of footage tonight or at least tell you how things are going. Just a minute. Oh, I can't get him. I can't get him with one hand. Um, Here we are, look, here he is, hello, ow, ow, ow. So, yeah, it's puppy class tonight, it's first puppy class. Um, from his vet's appointment on Monday, he's had no ill effects and he's had both his flea and worming tablets and it's not affected his eating or his going to the toilet or anything like that. Um, he, he's settling down even more. Today's been a really good day in terms of settling down while I'm working um, and being a good boy. Um, he is still live late at night and is difficult to settle in the evenings. Um, but that's just puppy behaviour and we just need to keep him occupied. And hopefully when, he, uh, next, when he's able to start his walks... Um, towards the end of next week we'll, we'll see a difference in the evenings um, for the past three nights we've had no poos overnight just wheeze so I think that's progress and also what I wanted to tell you today is as of ten past five we have had no accidents indoors today and that's a new new record so previously we've been around two, three or four wees indoors, which is not bad. Um, and for the past week or so we've had no poos at all indoors. But today, so far, touch wood, we have had nothing indoors. And he's definitely, definitely, when he gets the chance and the opportunity, is going to the door to indicate that he wants to go out. So I definitely think we've made progress. And I think it's a combination of that, him getting older and able to hold his bladder for longer, and also us getting to know him better and his signs, so we know when to get him to the door. And we actually read something in one of the books last night that said, don't carry him outside, let him walk to the door. Uh, so that's what we've been doing by calling him and so on and so forth, by saying, go wee wee out the door. Um, I think that's brought him on a little bit as well. Um, other than that, he's doing the fetch game really well. He's doing playing tug of war. He's harder to engage in games now. Um, whether he's getting a little bit bored. I think one mistake we've made is we um, we haven't kept some toys hidden. So we've had the whole box out. Um, so I think that's a good tip is get three or four toys out and keep the rest in a different room and bring them down a another day. Um, that's probably one thing we've fallen down on because he does seem to get a little bit bored of his toys. Um... 
the bite in is and the bite inhibition it's going well and the bites are softer um and he does pull away much sooner um but it's still not totally um gone the biting or the nipping um it's worse when he's in his excitable period um i'd go oh i thought it was indicating then um so yeah i think that's have you got anything to add love uh, no give me packet of crisps andrew wants a packet of crisps well you can't have one so I will either get some footage, try and get some footage of the puppy class, or come back on and let you know how it's gone. Um, but yeah, it's our first one and it'll be really interesting to see how it goes. So we are here and ready for puppy class. We've got our um, harness on and our collar. And I've got his lead and treats in the bag. So wish us luck. I better move because somebody wants to park next to me. Right, you're full on as well, aren't you? Yeah, first day. Yeah, with the, with the day after the garden. we got her home and the day after it happened, yeah. yeah. Oh. She's got a cherry eye, and she's very common in any dog. Yeah, yeah. Um, but she, we, the first day we got them, and we obviously thought we did something wrong. Especially did, though. I'll pass you back again in a minute. Yeah, we've got that. Like that, like that, though. I'm trying to let least energy to this, not more energy. In the middle, of the bars is absolutely fine, because this will be... In the middle, I These two are not a good match, you see. I wait while Emily comes back and then we might cook them. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Lee? What are you doing? Why do you always want to go to the woods? I don't want you to go. What's all that about? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. What are you all that about? So I'm trying to keep my hands as nice and calm as I possibly can so that we get. Stop watching. <laughs> 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 right, okay, I'm gonna put this one in and I'll just see what I get. What's yours called? Marlow. Hugo. Hugo. Which is Marlow? <laughs> Marlow. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, let's keep hold. <laughs> Keep hold if you don't. I'll keep hold. I'll keep hold. Just because it won't be over that one. I'm checking everybody in the Right, so can you see how the Labrador's going? No, you're too full on. Do you want a few? Yeah, oh no, 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 I mean, I wouldn't wonder why the lavender was moving it, that was all. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> You're having a bit of trouble today. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> right, okay, that's, I'm ending that, I'm ending that, I'm ending that, because that's just serving. Um, no, I'm going to put this one out. I'm just going to hold it in a minute. So what we don't ever want them to do is practice play fighting, obviously, because that's not conducive to life. It also teaches them that when they're seen with the dog, that's what you do. So it's potential to ruin your recall because the dogs are more exciting. Yeah. And I want you to be the most exciting thing in the world, not 
every time. One of the biggest problems I see as trainers, people say, the fine, that's the perfect. There's usually a real long list of how to So I'm just back from puppy class and I'll fill you in on that later. But I just thought I'd show you our latest purchase from Amazon. So we have a puppy sling. Now, of course, um, Charlie is going to be able to walk on the ground very soon. But um, <coughs> he will be restricted in how far or how long he can walk for. So I thought if I was going to get out on my usual long walks, that we needed one of these um, up to sort of seven or eight months. Um, and he can walk for five or ten minutes and then I can pop him in here and we can walk the rest of the way. Um, it's got a little um, fastening here that I've got his lead and harness fastened to. And uh, yeah, I really like it. You've just got to make sure that it's um, round your neck and arm, otherwise all the strains on your neck. But yeah, now I've got it like this, it's really, really comfortable. And uh, I think we'll be liking this, won't we? He's quite tired from his uh, puppy class. But yeah, let me know what you think. Obviously, we, like I say, um, he will be able to walk on the ground very soon. But uh, the recommendation is five or ten minutes of exercise twice a day. And uh, I'd probably like to go for longer walks than that. So that's when we'll use it. Right, so it's now... 8.30, we've been back from puppy class for about an hour or so. Charlie's fast asleep on the rug, he's absolutely took it out. So yeah, it was a really good experience. I went on my own, as I think Andrew was ready for five minutes peace to himself. Uh, but he might come with me next week. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, I wouldn't say we learnt a lot. Um, but it was a good experience and if you I'd, I have inserted a, a couple of clips he was very excitable when he was put in the pen with the other dog and very excitable when he met with the people which I am a bit worried about because I want him to be calm uh, so I'm hoping that he will settle down with that um, and he uses his paws quite a bit, like to, not to fight, but to like knock the other dog's nose or when somebody's greeting, greeting him, a person, he'll use his paws to like bring the hand down, which is a little bit concerning, but I'm hoping that he'll just settle down. But apart from that, he was really, really calm. He didn't bark or make any noise or he wasn't shaking. There was about seven other dogs um, with their owners um, and they range in age from 11 weeks to 15 to 18 weeks I think and there were three Labradors, a pug and a couple of other dogs um, yeah and what she would do is um, just put one or two dogs in the playpen at the same time and introduce them um, so then we did that for about 15-20 minutes. Uh, I've obviously only recorded when Charlie was in the pen. Um, and then we had a talk from the, the veterinary nurse about teeth cleaning, which we do have a toothbrush for Charlie, which we need to find. And she just recommended trying to clean their teeth uh, at least once a day to stop the tartar building up. Um, and then we had a little talk from the like the behavioralist uh, about putting sounds on um, so like fireworks and things like getting a CD or a YouTube video with fireworks and um, emergency vehicles and things like that to get them used to noises like that um, and then after that um, she got like two or three of the other the owners to go around saying hello to all the dogs um yeah and i think he he was really really good um apart from just being very excitable and this little pouring thing but he did settle and he did sit and lay on the floor um while we were all talking so i was pleased with that um and also another big thing 
So we set off about 20 to 6, put him in the cage in the car, went to the puppy class. Uh, we were there for about an hour, uh, put him back in the cage to come home and he's not done a wee or a poo in all that time. Um, and when I came home about half seven, 20 past seven, half seven, he just did a wee and a poo outside straight away. So it shows that he can hold it in. Um, and so far it's now 20 to nine. We still haven't had any accidents inside wheeze or poos so far today. So we'll just see how we go. So I think that's a definite positive. I'm not sure how much more footage there'll be on this vlog, but I won't upload it just yet, just in case there's anything exciting tomorrow. Uh, I was thinking of showing you the nighttime routine because Andrew's stopping up tonight, so I might just get him to film me uh, putting him to bed. But yeah, I think uh, you're pleased with how he's coming on, aren't you? Uh, yes, yes, I am. Mm. Look at me there. Um, yeah, I, I think for ten and a half weeks, I think he's he's doing doing really well. I think oh. we're, I think it's, it's, if somebody had asked me what it'd be like in two or two and a half weeks after getting him, um, I think he's well ahead of where I thought it would be. Yeah, yeah, we're pl we're pleased. And today is a bonus with the with him doing the puppy class. We seem to have sort of avoided the mad half an hour today. I'm sure that won't last uh, because obviously he's not going to get that kind of interaction every day. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to being able to take him out on little walks on his four paws and then putting him in his little sling and taking him a bit further afield. Right, so I shall either see you later or tomorrow. So the first stage of the routine is to line the playpen with the newspaper and a fresh puppy pad and you can see Charlie's already sensing that we're doing the nighttime routine and he will, puppies will tear and play with the paper but for us that's acceptable. You'll have to excuse me I'm in my pyjamas but the next stage of the routine is to get his bed ready and to put all his toys away. So we put all the toys in the basket. He's ready in his bed, look. Now we need to fold this up and we fold this up all nice. And he know, definitely knows the routine now because he's just waiting to uh, get in his bed. Then we put the bed in the playpen and you can see he's got he's got one teddy there in the bed and we also put his favourite polar bear in whether he plays with them or not I'm not sure okay. next step is to put some fresh water in so we've got a bowl of fresh water on his feeding stand and you can see you can see again that he's used to the steps of the plan and the next step is a final wee wee outside. <laughs> the last job of the night is just to take a Kong toy, you can see he's waiting for it and here so I'm just going to fill the Kong toy with a few bits of his puppy kibble this is what he eats for his meals as well and he's ready in his bed waiting for it so I just fill it with a few of the kibble bits And 
he's, he's, I've been doing this for a few nights and he's well used to the routine now. And the first two or three nights in the playpen there was some crying, but now there isn't hardly any crying at all. Come on then, bed. Bed. And you see, we wait till he's in his bed and we say, night night, be good boy. You can see he's not paying any attention while I um, bolt the gate and we say, night night, be good boy. Well good evening, it's now Friday and I just thought I'd finish up my weekly vlog. We've had another good day today, just a normal day when I've been working. Andrew's been off work today so he's had Charlie most of the day and he's kept him entertained. We've had one wee accident today and that was right by the patio doors. Um, so Nate, that really doesn't count because it was just a case of one of us not getting to the door in time but he was at the door waiting um, so yeah I think there's progression in that he's just now doing his sort of playing with toys and wanting attention phase um, and he'll gradually settle down towards the end of the night um, and Again, he's been left while we've been shopping and he's been absolutely fine. We do absolutely the same routine um, for when we go out as when we go shopping. But currently we are only leaving him for that hour or so on a Friday when we go shopping. Sorry, my socks are being attacked at the moment. Um, so yeah, um, I enjoy puppy classes. He's fine from his injections. Um, He's currently going through his misbehaving phase in the evening, but, you know, we just have to enjoy it while we can. Uh, very pleased with the progress on um, toilet training. Um, the only thing we haven't really been doing is the socialising so much. So I haven't been taking him out. For, I've been taking him out in the morning, but I haven't been taking him out in an evening because it's, um, being too hot so um, when, when I say take him out I mean take him out in carrying him in my jacket or the puppy sling and I took him out in the puppy sling this morning and it was really good uh, so I'll definitely be using that um, I'm a bit nervous about lead training when he can go for a walk because he does seem a bit reluctant to walk on the lead uh, but he's still only very little and hopefully he's got plenty of time to get used to that. Right, so no more news this week. Um, but if you've got any questions or positive comments then I'd love to hear them and try to answer them. And if you want to follow our story or my Slimming World journey or see more recipes or see more of my life, then please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.